After we left LA and Hourglass broke up, I went back to Tuscaloosa. There was a group of loose, a group of loosely held musicians called, they call themselves South Count. They were playing in this bar in town. Every weekend they'd play, they'd be a, somebody different in the band. I got in the band, I tried to, to make a more stable band entity. Like when you come to, to see the South Camp, you knew who we were going to be seeing. That way we'd get gigs out of town and we could spread out and not just play this one club. And um, so uh, there was a young piano player in Tuscaloosa that was growing up a few years under me. And uh, Chuck, Chuck Level. And, and uh, he later changed that name, of course, as, as everybody knows, Chuck Lavelle. He, this was in the summertime, and he'd just gotten out of the 11th grade. But he was still showing chops. And he was playing piano, playing words or electric piano, and doing some singing. His voice kind of matured pretty early. And so I thought, hey, let's get Chuck. So with Chuck, we could have two keyboards. And I also doubled on guitar. And it was same, basically the same format that we had had in the Hourglass. So that's how that came about. And uh, so in 1969, when I came over here, within a few short months, um, I, I called Chuck and I said, man, you, ought to, you need to get here somewhere. Something's going to happen in Macon. And uh, you want to be, you want to get on the ground in, ground floor of this thing. And he walked out of school, out of the twelfth grade in high school, and and came moved right on in here and started playing with different bands. And he took uh, one of the bands I was playing with was um, Alex Taylor, James Taylor's older brother. And I did about a two month tour with Alex, and I said, Nah, I'm, by this time I was wanting to do more studio stuff too, and. I said, Chuck, take here, here, you know, you just here you are in town, and you need some eating money. Take my place with Alex. So he he walked right into that gig, and then maybe a year later, Dr. John was in town, and I was playing some with him as well as the studio. And again, I was wanting to get back in the studio to do work, and I said, Chuck, how'd you like to have this job with Dr. John? He says, All right, I'm in there. So he took my job with. Dr. John. So I'm still waiting for him to pass on his his gig, his gig he's got these days to me at some point. 